Hello Zany friends and welcome to our January book wrap up that we are doing. Um, if you have noticed during this month I have had little mini reviews of each book that I have been reading as I've been reading them like pretty much right when I'm done I'll try to go on and say something about it and I've been posting it on my IGTV as well as here um, but we really kind of want to make this more book reviews this year that's kind of what we're focusing on kind of incorporating that into everything else so Marshall has also been getting in with the book so now we're going to do a little bit more of the wrap up with him but we'll be doing our review still singular yeah check it out for that one all right I had kind of a lengthy amount of books to yeah. read um, especially since I just started a book club Marshall kind of joined the book club too but I got a little a little overwhelmed with all the books I had to read for reviews and for book club uh, so I think you're going to see that uh, quite a few of my books are going to be pushed over into February as I'm trying to get my reviews for February done first and then everything else that I want to read <laughs> done later and that is fine um, especially it depends on how I have the book. I've noticed that I can read a lot more if I have both audiobooks and regular books because I can listen to the audiobooks at work and the regular books outside of work so I can read two books at one time which gives me a lot more uh, leeway to get my goal accomplished which is two books a week. I did a lot more than that. <laughs> My goal is 104 books this year, which is basically two books a week. So we'll see, we'll see if I keep going um, on that, which means that technically for the month of January, I only needed to read eight books. I'm Let's... looking at her list. I, th I think she, she's having a difficult time with this eight books thing. <laughs> Just, just a bit. Um, I think one of my problems is I had never really watched a lot of booktube before. I have been a part of the YouTube community since 2014 and I have basically just been watching beauty videos and, you know, how to small business help, sewing <laughs> was last year's thing. And this year I started reading, uh, watching booktube and I was like, I didn't know some of these books existed, so now I feel like I have to catch up. I also discovered a little bit of a different genre for me. I used to really like young adult, well, I, it's not that I don't anymore. I re used to read young adult, I used to read like chick lit, and I used to read mystery novels. And I kind of transitioned into thriller, which if you've been watching my little mini reviews, you will notice that like 90% of the books are thrillers. <laughs> and that's just because I'm obsessed with them right now. I just, I really love how fast paced they are and they just kind of keep me going and they make me want to read it more. So uh, I'm being a lot more picky about the books that I am requesting to review. They really need to be either authors I really love or genres I really love. Um, so I'm kind of, I'm, kind of different like that. Uh, what type of books uh, do you go to? On average I typically gravitate towards more genre fiction so you have science fiction, fantasy, mystery novels but I did just go through one book that I it was not any of those and I loved the pants off of it. It was great. Yeah I think it's going to be great for both of us because we're going to find genres that maybe we haven't been familiar with in the past that we're going to be exposed to, which is a good thing about, I oh, think, yeah. this book club. One of the things that actually kind of turned me off very early on, I actually, uh, in college, I had taken courses in writing, and the fiction writing class, the teacher refused to accept genre fiction as acceptable fiction. She's just like, it. it is not real fiction. And I'm like, snooty fiction. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like snooty fiction. <laughs> and you know, I learned a lot in writing in that class, but I, I was kind of, it actually kind of turned me off to contemporary fiction. So what is your goal this year? I don't really have a set goal, but what I am trying to stick with is in this book club, I'm trying to stay with them. Uh, at least choose one of the books that they're doing per month. Mm -hmm. And if I get done with that quickly, or if somebody says, hey, please read this book, I'll be like, you betcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what's good about both of us is because we read such different genres of books with some overlap, 
if people want us to review books, then we're like, sure, one of one of us will do it because. And actually, that was one of the ones that I just read. Mm -hmm. Is uh, it was given to you mm -hmm. to do a review, and it's not exactly your kind of yeah. thing normally, but it's my kind of thing, right. so I can talk about that. Exactly. So I think that that gives us that kind of kind of a platform in which we can kind of spread the love. So okay, we've been. We've been rambling. Let's get into January. Let's do so that for let's go for you because I think it won't really take as long as it will for <laughs> me. <laughs> um, so I really went through three different books. One is Six of Crows. Six of Crows is uh, it's kind of a low fantasy heist story, and I really liked the universe. I would actually give this more of a four star rating. And he'll um, have all of his little mini reviews. They'll mm -hmm. be posted up on the channel and on Instagram, but you gave it a four stars? I gave it a four star okay. review. Um, and I did this one as an audiobook, so I don't actually know the page of it. So then um, Lee Bardugo is the author of that. Mm -hmm. um, she just wrote Ninth House, which a lot of people are on the fence, either raving or they don't like. I do have that one on my list to read sometime this year. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about listening to that because I haven't listened to it it's yet good. either. It's it's good fun, um, mm -hmm. and I like the characters. Um, the second one that I went through was Sadie, and this one is not my genre typically, but I loved this audiobook. This is a five star for me. This is actually being read next month, in the month of February, so it's actually this month. Um, it's being read this month in the Weeby Book and Fan Club. Uh, book club it's one of the ones that they're reading and so uh you read that one i actually in my audiobook from the library that's the next one i'm going to be listening to so he had been raving about it and i'm like good i'm so glad that we decided to read this one because i really yeah. wanted to um but yeah it's definitely worth your while this is a contemporary fiction it is about um a podcast well it's a radio show that is trying to find a missing girl and so you have half the story from her perspective and half the story from the perspective of the investigator. Mm -hmm. And neither one of these guys, neither one of these people are giving you the full story. One doesn't have it and one of them just, it's not where her head So very is. unreliable narrator. Yes. Okay. Okay. The third one that we that I did is uh, one that we were given for review. It's Odriel's Heirs. Uh, this is a fantasy story. I'd probably put this at... Given that it's their her first novel, this is her debut novel. Um, I would say that this is a, a three and a half, um, four as a you have definite promise. You you have the bones of amazing stuff here, and I think you can as go an so. arc, right? Like as a series, as a as a series, mm -hmm. as a universe. This is good stuff. Um, but I did have a few issues with it along the way in reading it and that's why it's not quite a four star so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll po yeah. post that video when we have it we'll try to link it down below and okay. also all of the books that we are mentioning in this video will be down below um we will affiliate link it to amazon or goodreads depending on where we can find it um <clears throat> for all all of them so in total you read three books i read three books and odriel's heirs i actually read read it and it is 275 pages so uh do you know the exact number of pages you have read all month long no, because the other two I did as audiobooks. And, um, that means nothing. All right, so total number of pages. Only. My total pages for the month is 1,048. Not bad to start. To that. Yeah. Yeah. So, and now that you've kind of had these goals, because you kind of started this whole process into January, February, you could probably could get to at least one book a week, right? It's entirely likely, especially uh, if I go between audiobooks and written books. Um, I'm finding it's taking me a little longer to do written books because mm -hmm. audiobooks I can do on my way to work. Exactly. So you had one five star, one four star, and one three point five star yeah. in your books. All right. So now it's my turn. Um, for the month of January, I thought I had read more than I really did, uh, but after counting of my final uh, amount of books is 15. I was only supposed to read eight. <laughs> 15, and it is a mixture of reviews, book clubs, and personal reads that I wanted to read. Total amount of pages is 5,063. Uh, I did DNF six different books, um, but we will go from five stars down uh, to what I DNF'd. Um, for the month of January, I had three five-star books. And you can see all of these reviews, well, mostly all of these reviews, except for my DNFs. You can see these on here or in Instagram TV. 
planner, anyone? So for five star review, I have Tweet Cute, I have Malice, and I have Final Girls by Riley Sager. So those three are my five star reviews for January. Uh, Tweet Cute is more of like a romantic comedy kind of book and Malice and uh, Final Girls are more thriller. Actually, I would say Malice is more speculative fiction and Final Girls is more thriller. So those are the three that I have. So I have one 4.5 star review and that is The Other People. It is a thriller as well. I have four four star reviews and that is The Great Escape. That's a romantic comedy. The Family Next Door, which is a thriller. Come Tumbling Down, which is a fantasy novel by Shawnee McGuire and side note I had never re read anything by Shawnee McGuire and I now want to read the first four books in the series as well as Middle Game comes out this year by her and I, I I'm really a fan of the writing I think you would be as well since you like fantasy the last one is a book that I don't have the review up yet but it will be coming it's The Wives by Taryn Fisher I give that four stars as well three stars I have six books. So the first one is Reverie. It's kind of more of a fantasy alternate reality kind of book. I have The Good Mother which is a thriller book. Name Drop which is actually a celebrity biography kind of thing. It's Ross Matthews and he talks about his celebrity stories. I have Little Fires Everywhere which I read with Rebe Bookin for the month of January. Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris which is also a thriller. The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware which is also a thriller. And I have one two-star review and that is The Ghosted. It was actually a book that was uh, given to me to review uh, and uh, uh, you know, I'm, all I'm really going to say about it is it does have room for growth. They are newer authors, so they do have room. And I will say when it comes to my personal reviewing style, I tend to be, I guess, harsher. I was looking on Book Sirens and apparently I'm very harsh when it comes to like other people's reviews. But if I love a book, I will give it five stars if I want to read it again. If I loved it but I don't really know if I want to read it again because the experience was too much or whatever, I'll give it a four or a 4.5 or maybe a 4.5 if I want to read it again but I felt like there was maybe something wrong with it that could have been tweaked a little bit, etc. Three is just, I enjoyed it. It was a good time. That's cool. And two is like, yeah, there was a lot of work that needed to be done in this book. And one is, I did not finish. I just didn't finish the book. So that's kind of my review system. Let's get on to the ones I didn't finish. So I did not finish Nameless Queen, We Used to Be Friends, A Longer Fall, The Worst Best Man, Felicity Carroll and the Murderous Menace, and Love Unscripted. So those were the six books I did not finish, um, mainly because in order for me to keep on with the book, I really have to like the characters connect with something in the book a lot and if I don't then I just can't I can't bring myself to finish it and it doesn't mean that it's a bad book it doesn't mean that other people won't like it it's just my personal taste about it I have seen many times where I have not liked a book that Marshall has liked so and take I that have with what an it is. entire bookshelf full of things that she's never gonna touch yeah and also think about it in terms of what kind of a mood are you in when you're reading the book? If you're not in the right kind of mood, then you probably won't be able to finish it. That doesn't mean that I won't go back and pick it up later, but you know, it's just, I couldn't, I couldn't finish it. Let us talk about the books I'm still kind of in, in the middle of reading. I am reading um, Homework by Julie Andrews, actually listening to it on audiobook. I kind of listen to it before I go to bed. It's very soothing. She talks about her time in Hollywood. She starts with Mary Poppins. She goes to Sound of Music. That's the part I'm in right now. And then she's going to kind of go on. I probably will finish this in February. I'm also currently reading uh, Southern Double Cross by Caroline Fardig. One of my favorite mystery authors, kind of like a very, we call it cozy detective, very like a uh, easy read. Uh, it's about two girls who run a bed and breakfast but they also kind of do detective work on the side and one of them in a rock band. It's like it's really cool like I just love her. I've loved all of her series so um, I'm in the middle of reading that one right now. I'll probably finish this week. 
but the ones, the books that I kind of want to read for next month are Fashion Victim. This was a book that they read in the paper and, and Glam book club last year and I never got to it and I really wanted to. Finale by Stephanie Garber. This is the Carnival uh, ending trilogy. I just got that book and I need to read that one. Six of Crows. Um, it's, it's on my list as well. I'll probably be listening to that one after I listen to Sadie. And uh, I do have some series that I want to start, uh, and it's going to start probably in February. So um, in the Weeby Book and Book Club, we are doing buddy reads, and so we're starting to read Harry Potter again, and I love reading Harry Potter. But the best thing that I've noticed, because we just started this, is there are three or four people in the group who have never read Harry Potter and have never seen the movies. And as they're reading it, just <laughs> being a part of their reactions like this one person was like one chapter in and was like this is one of the best stories how have I never read this before I am hooked and everyone's like yeah we knew we knew you would be because it's just you can connect any anybody can connect to any, these stories yeah, anybody can really connect to Harry Potter directly at the very beginning and it's then as the story goes on the other characters you will see yourself in mm -hmm. them and that's one of the brilliancies of her writing. Exactly. So I'm really excited to keep reading that with other people. The other one I'm doing is The Hunger Games, a trilogy plus the prequel that's coming out this year. We're adding to that. So a ballad of songbirds and something else. I can't ever remember what it's called. But we're reading that one too. And then... Um, I am also trying to read the Diviner series because the last book in that comes out this year. That's by Libba Bray. And then also the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas. Um, I want to read more of that as well. And I think in March or April, we start Illuminae in our buddy reads. And so that is when I've, I've read the listen to the first book. You are also interested in I'm it interested in too. This. So we are excited to go through that that mm -hmm. series as well. So that's basically what we're reading for the rest of the year as long as it, you know, it doesn't have to do with like other book club books or reviews. Um, so that and is... And just to keep myself fresh and actually doing things, I may go back and reread a few of my books off my shelf. Mm. So you might see some older books coming up. That's true. So keep your eye on here because Marshall's book reviews will actually be posted here and on um, the Instagram as well, even though he has his own Instagram if you want to go see it. And hopefully soon we'll be updating it with new artwork. Maybe, 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 I, maybe, 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 I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. This was kind of our first wrap up and we were like not really sure how it was going to go. But I think we have a good format for what's yeah. coming up. Um, if there's anything you want to see, uh, please let us know down below. Like, Or more like you want us to see. so that we can't do that with you. Uh, but thank you so much for watching and being a part of our community of just like random geeky crap. Let's <laughs> geek together. Let's geek together. <laughs> but until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.